ladies and gentlemen, this is your host, Stardust Share Gaming, and I'm absolutely thrilled uh, to present to you a new Army General playthrough based off of the newest uh, Eugen released Army General DLC. Decided I had time to get around to it. Uh, this is the uh, Romanians versus Hungarians, basically DLC, the Romanians have the support of the Soviets, and the Hungarians have the support of the Germans. Uh, so we will be playing through the campaign and uh, seeing what it takes to bring us to victory. I've never opened the campaign, I've never played with any of these units on either side, any of the new units before, uh, so I'm very excited to see what the situation brings to the table, and I'm excited because we're going in completely blind, I have no idea what's going to happen, or what the strategic situation looks like, but I'm confident that uh, we can secure a uh, victory. So let's run down to Army General. It's, it's just so awesome how many Army Generals I came out with. And we are doing the Turda uh, campaign. So just the basic backstory, the Romanians, of course, were on the side of the Germans, but by 1944, or by August 1944, um, there was essentially a coup and the Romanians switched sides and joined the communists, while Hungarians on the border basically are like, this is a great chance to seize some ancestral terrain, so we're just going to go ahead and attack and also, you know, kind of punish our former ally. Germans support the Hungarians, um, and who are, Hungarians are very fanatical, and um, the Soviets support the um, Romanians. So you guys are welcome to pause this and read through, but basically uh, the fighting centers around Turda. We are going to be General Vares. I heard that I, I just like playing the bad guys, you know? I mean, communists are the bad guys, but Nazis are even more the bad guys. Um, I like playing the bad guys. Uh, we're going to be General Vares. We're going to have the Second Hungarian Army, the Second and Ninth Hungarian Army Corps, and parts of the German Eighth Army, which I guess are Sperva van Kessel and Gruppa Seibenbergen. Um, so with that, we're going to go ahead and launch this right here. Let's go very hard, as usual. Uh, switch teams here. Yes, uh, this is the way that I would like it. Okay, super excited. We're not going to waste any time. Um, you know, if you've seen my previous Army General playthroughs, I'm hoping to kind of create a situation where I can encircle the enemy, you know, but I'm not sure what my objectives are going to be yet, so let's jump right in. I uh, absolutely adore the cinematics, you know, that play. Um, although they've gotten kind of arcadey the longer they've had the cinematics, but that's okay. On August 20th, 1944, the Soviets launched the devastating Yasi Kichinev offensive. This triggers a coup in Bucharest, bringing Romania over to the Allies. With territorial disputes centered on Transylvania, Hungary and Romania have been very reluctant allies under the thumb of Nazi Germany. While a newly allied Romania hurriedly moves to reassert control over its territories, Hungary uses the chance for an armored offensive, claiming Transylvania as its own. On September 5th, the two armies clash near the Muresh River, close to the town of Turda. Okay, I literally have no idea if we're going to be defending or attacking. I hope the that we're defending. The time has come to Here reclaim what is rightfully ours, Commander. Secure a crossing over the Muresh River and its tributaries. Well, I guess we're attacking. I've heard, just hearsay, but I've heard that the Allied side is ridiculously easy, and this is a and conversely, it's very challenging to play this side because of the balance of forces. So I'm excited for a challenge for sure. The front is held by the weak Romanian Sixth Territorial Corps. Its conscripts, border guards, and militias should not give you cause for alarm. Okay, I hope they don't have anti-tank weapons. Even something like 45 millimeter could probably pop my Romanian tanks. I have no idea, or I mean, Hungarian. I have no idea what kind of tanks I have. Maybe T4s? Use the offensive firepower of our elite 2nd Armored Division and 25th Infantry Division wisely. Intelligence has identified Romanian reinforcements forming in the rear. The 6th Corps and the elite Moto Mechanized Corps grouping all the enemy's mobile units. Okay, at least I know that this is going to be equally as garbage as our armored forces. We are aware of further support being brought to bear with the main threat yes, this would be the Soviets. being the spearhead of the Soviet Sixth Guards Army. Okay. The Germans have promised help, but whose side will get there first? 
Okay, this is a, a pretty small battlefield, honestly. So, kind of surprised there. That's okay, though. Let's look at the situation. So, it looks like this is our main objective. Okay, yeah. Midias. That's our, so, that's our objective. Okay, we got a lot of fighting to do because there's only two bridges here. I mean, I could try to get all the way around this way. I don't know... Again, I promise I haven't cheated. I don't know where their reinforcement points are, where they draw troops from. It's possible that it's like here and here and like here. Maybe it's like here. I don't know. But if they can move troops up from here, we're in trouble. But if they spawn troops like here or here, then maybe I could cut around and get behind their lines here. I don't know. And where's their airfield? I don't see it. Uh, I have no clue where it is. Uh, I guess it's not actually highlighted. For Oh, wow. Okay, where's... Yeah. So it used to be in the Army Generals, you'd have a little airfield decal, but we don't have one. I guess they don't have one either, so I have no clue where they are. Um, yeah, not going to lie, I'm not the biggest fan of offensive uh, maneuvers, and it's going to be tough because, um, you know, there's so many rivers. If this was open ground, I'd be like, well, I can encircle here, go around here, but we're going to have to bust our way through some heavy defenses without heavy tanks, so that's kind of concerning. Let's look at the uh, order of battle here. So, uh, yeah, so we have 50,000 troops and 500, 600 tanks, and they have, let's see, together, combined, what do they have? 75,000 troops and 1,300 tanks. So, as usual, we're outnumbered as the Germans, which is fine, because I do enjoy that, but we are going to be 100% outnumbered. Uh, and probably outgunned, too. We'll see what the Germans provide. This is the second... I guess had test means Army Corps. Oh, wow. That's not a lot of available reinforcements. Okay, cool. Uh, I love German security troops. God, I fucking love German security troops. Okay. Uh, I thought Eugen was not going to put in any SS units, but look, there they go. They're like, yeah, we, we changed our minds on that one. Okay, well, this is... Yeah, those are security units. And... Wow, so the German reinforcements I get are not armored units. They're the remains of mountain troops. Okay, so I was kind of counting on getting German armor, so that's unfortunate. God, this would be fun to play as a defender, but obviously we have to attack. Control both Turda and Medea. So that's Medeus there. And then what is Turda? Right here? Or where is it? Oh, it's here. So we have it. Okay. For September 22nd. Alright, so we have... 20 turns or 24 turns i guess okay and the luftwaffe assault bomber group what does that even mean not stukas okay these are awesome uh what are the fast bomber group what are these dorniers Dor dorniers okay no okay cool fighters typical right any multi-role fighters no zero multi-role fighters by that i mean fighters with rocket pods or Oh, yeah, this is a goaded air support unit. Yeah, if there's armor, we're bringing this guy out, if possible. Okay. Let's look at our units that are actually on the front line here. Uh, the 82nd Training Regiment. Yeah, okay, well, at least they have a literally miserably bad anti-tank gun. Like, that's a lot worse than the 45 mil. But we don't even have any tanks, so it doesn't really matter, does it? We've got these uh, Nimrods. Those are cool air defense guns. Tank regiment. Okay. We got Panzer Fours. Oh, we got Panthers. We have five Panthers. Okay. Uh, this is obvious. Oh, we have. T oh, there's only one Tiger. No, six Tigers. Five Panthers. Okay. And I don't think the Panzer Fours are that good. So, I mean. They're good at multiplayer at their own role, but they're just not good at breakthroughs, you know. Um, and then what is this? These are light tanks. Oh, God, Tyrans. Again, I'm sure there's nothing wrong with them at the Army Jet, you know, when you're playing a multiplayer. Like I said, I haven't used any of these divisions because I wanted to kind of go blind in blind, you know. Um, yeah, I'm not liking the lack of heavy tanks. Like, bridges is what you want heavy tanks for, so... And then we've got this sector down here. Again, it looks like... Okay, artillery training group. I don't even know what that means. Training division. Whoa, they come with aircraft? That's like unheard of. 
Oh my god, they have chow shots. That is terrible. That's like the worst machine gun ever. Uh, okay, I mean, they're not badly equipped. Limited. These guys have AA and aircraft. I don't even know what to make of this. They've got one, one bomber. A single bomber. That's kind of funny. Alright, that's cool. P-24E, I have no idea what that is. Okay. So, the question is, do I move up the tanks now, you know, and then attack next turn? Or do I attack now and have them come in in C phase? Um, you know, I really want to wait, but, you know, every minute counts on the battlefield, right? So, I reckon we better attack. So, we're just gonna, we're just gonna go for it. Uh, we got the 83rd training. These guys have six AT guns, these guys have six, and these guys have six. So at max, and these guys have three. So at max, we're facing 19, 21 AT guns at max. All right, we should be good. Uh, let's go ahead and begin an attack. Maybe our infantry have some nice transports. Possibly. All right, we're definitely throwing in these C phase guys. Definitely throwing these guys in, and then... You know, why not a dive bomber group? Uh, I'm kind of hesitant to bring those in. I don't think they're nece I don't think they're necessary, right? Then again, I mean, we've only got three points. Let Let's see what the situation's like here. I mean, what do they have? Training. Might be better to use those over here. Because I want to attack uh, uh, all over, like at all, at least here. Definitely here. Probably here too. I mean, I kind of want to attack at all points, you know, to try to. Could I just encircle, start encircling them? That would be very based. All right, fuck it. We're gonna just start moving our guys. It does not even matter. We're just gonna start encircling. Oh no! They got cut off. Are you? It's like, come on. Like, you're supposed to be able to like. Come on, let's open it up here. I can't believe they cut themselves off. That's so lame. That's all right, though, I guess. That's frustrating. Um, okay, I think we're not going to attack here. Just be kind of exhausted. Some, well, maybe I will attack here. I don't know. Not a lot of troops here. And what aircraft do we have? we got the bombers, who are great. Honestly, these aren't bad. I mean, well, no, they're not very good. Only two guys with bombs. And then... We got the dive bomber group, and then is that a recon unit? Yeah, a recon group. They've only got okay. They have six multi-role fighters. All right, you know what? We're gonna commit the 102nd recon group here. All right, boom, boom. Let's get our armor up. That'll default move the armor up, I think. And let's get the recon group in. We'll save our stronger aircraft for over here. And we're just going to jump right into it. We're going to go full player mode. It looks like the enemy is actually bringing in aircraft, which is kind of not a good situation. But we do have our own. So I don't know what they're bringing in. If it's a fighter unit, we're in big trouble. Because we only have a couple fighters. But if it's like a dive bomber unit, then we're golden. Oh, a fifth bomber group. Awesome. Our light recon fighters could probably do some good damage to that. Okay, very familiar map. Um, they're not dug in. I'm just trying to attack before they get dug in, you know. The temptation to use these on the assaults, but I know just one round will go right through them, so it's like... You, you can't, and their range is too short. Goering. Goering 105. Is that named after Hermit Goering? It must be it, it must be a coincidence. Like, no relation, Goering. Okay, so we're going to start with just an infantry swarm. We're just going to try to move up and, and Soviet-style overrun them with infantry. That's how we're going to start. Um, although the bombers are probably pretty well equipped to, to really, really mess us up if we try to do that. But you know what? It doesn't matter. We're going to do our best. Ooh, these guys have like some kind of bazooka. I don't know clue what that is, but it looks cool. I guess we'll get some recon troops? I don't really know. I guess we'll just start throwing out some recon just to have like a general idea of like what's going on. I don't really know how effective it's going to be. I don't want our guys getting sniped, you know, like just getting knocked out instantaneously as they 
try to get to the front line. So I'm trying to be conservative with my positioning. Oh, whoopsies. That was not a recon unit. Uh, oh, these are the... Okay, I definitely used the wrong trooper there, too. Okay. Looks like we got some pioneers, which is cool. I really like how these guys have bazookas. We're going to save them because there's no need for bazooka troops, you know? We're going to use these guys instead. Alright, motorized lov lovage. Let's, uh... I don't know, I guess just go there. I don't know what kind of resistance they're going to be... F I really don't know what kind of resistance they're going to be facing, so... I guess I'll put those guys here as support. Uh, okay. Again, I want to use these, because there's no tanks, so I don't want to lose Bazooka Armed Infantry for no reason. That would kind of suck, right? But I may be un be being... I may be being unnecessarily conservative here. I don't really know. Support group. I guess we'll try to get them to those trees there. I don't know. And... Who's that egg? I, don't, I really don't know what I'm doing here. Let's just... I guess we'll try to... Throw some MGs over there. Oopsie daisy. These are obviously would be great in the defense. A lot of MGs and stuff. Not so good on the attack. Gotta res Oh! Okay, but they are deploying bombers. So we've actually got an excuse to deploy these. I was gonna say, no need to deploy these, but then I was like, oh they've got bombers, like let's go. So Let's see here, do we have any more of those assault troops? Yes sir, definitely want to be deploying those guys. And you know what, we're just going to throw all the rules out the window. Since we've got enemy aircraft in the area and use this in an anti-infantry role. There are infantry hanging out in that region. Air-wise, let's just... uh get a good mix. Uh, let's go ahead and I want to buy enough fighters to really kind of like wipe out the enemy if needed. Um, I guess we should drop down commanders, right? I'm not really good at that, but I guess we better do that. Especially when we've got a big blob coming, so... I guess we'll just spread out some extra MGs just because we got the troops, so. Again, I don't know how far the front line's gonna bend back the minute we start. Okay, it looks like we're gaining our front line positions very quickly. They're mostly. What is the, uh, let's see, I'm sorry about this. I want to see what the option for pausing is. Uh, interface? Controls? Yeah. Where's the pause? Toggle bullet time, is it P? Okay. Oh, I forgot. They've got mad AA up here. Oh, that's not good. All right. Um, yeah, that. Oh, look at these old. These are French, I'm pretty sure. I mean, they were captured from France. All right. Okay, we got it, evac. They got 37 mils, which is also just not good for my infantry either. So that is unfortunate. Oh, they're taking a lot of fire. We're definitely going to lose. 37 mil is like the most effective. Oh, and these have the poorest. These have the worst durability, right? Oh, God. That was almost bad. Alright, well, a little embarrassing there. Gotta wait on the tanks. We gotta remember the tanks are our striking force. I didn't realize these had so many men in them, so that's cool. Okay, 
definitely wanting to move these guys up here, right? Yeah, let's definitely. These guys have got to. We got to move these guys up for sure. Okay, it looks like we already got some arty coming in from our hitting our like more stationary positions. Let's see about infantry and let's try to pour ahead some more of these guys and take some positions. Um, I think I want to try to attack this town here. Okay, that should be good. Alright, machine guns open fire here. Oh no, we got bombers. Okay, pause. You know what? We're just gonna go ahead and attack these bombers because training unit, well, we're definitely in trouble if these guys come at us. Uh, does this guy have... Oh, they do have Nimrods. Oh, thank goodness. We're gonna have to just get more of these. Like, there's just no other option. And you know what? We're just gonna go for it. And just get more fighters. I just... I think if we overwhelm them, you know, we have the best chance of... If we overwhelm their air defenses, we have the most chance of, like making it out. Looks like they're falling back here. Okay, let's get back those. Just one pass is all you get. Oh man, those bombs were definitely effective. Looks like we got off scot-free. We took out a single bomber, which is not great, but our air defenses are being strengthened as we speak. Let's go ahead and lower the volume. Just because I don't want to deafen you guys here. Looks like they've already got another bomber incoming. And I don't know where it's going. This is like intense. I'm like just watching every second of the field here. Like it's too hard to stop the bombers before they get their loads off. Oh, thank goodness, that was a miss. Okay, good stuff. I'm nervous. I don't want to deploy fighters yet because I think that they're going to get destroyed. So, all right, let's get these guys unloaded here. Get our Arca Zulks into there. Definitely took an L there. All right, we're, we've already knocked out. Um, a, we've knocked out another bomber already. If we have another bomber come in, we can. Uh, besides this one, we can launch another fighter wave at him. And again, we're just trying to hold out to get to, to let the tanks arrive. Uh, where do we want more infantry? Let's try to hold this. Let's try to get this sector a little bit more locked down. the rocket launcher guys you guys are lovely but we don't need you and we'll try to let's see let's give these guys some reinforcement here since they definitely took some losses and that looks like a pretty good let's get those guys unloaded for sure and uh, I guess we can throw out some re yeah some recon probably go let's get some recon out here and Start viewing out out this field here. Okay, we're gonna bust out and try to take on those machine gun guys. Okay, it looks like our concentrated AA is having a good effect. We don't even necessarily need maybe to bring in more fighters because those Nimrods are just shredding the planes. Very happy for the integrated protection there. Alright, engage. Yeah, 
Now let's see. Engage with those machine guns, guys. You can, you can do it. Alright. I can't wait till our tanks can come in and start knocking out those planes. That'll be nice. It looks like we've already hit the draw, like a point where they'll have a draw. Alright, let's have those guys see back. Some, that's some cool camo, I'll admit. I'm kind of liking it. I'm considering launching like a concerted airstrike on one side with a ton of planes to like overwhelm their defenses, you know? It should definitely be possible. In fact, I think that's what I'm going to do. Once we have more planes, we can just try to hit this and then maybe like hit that, you know? And the fact that we're at a draw is good already. That's a good situation. I think we definitely need more recon. Out, now that we've got some new positions, we want to have good recon. Nice, got another aircraft. I think my concerns may have been somewhat unwarranted. Not entirely, but somewhat unwarranted. Let's move that up. Let's just just try to get our guys into the like most advantageous positions possible. Okay, we've got enough planes. I think we can do a big airstrike. So let's start with like some softening up planes to attract the AA. Right? And then we'll have like some dedicated planes trying to knock out those positions. Okay, and we've still got two planes that are not doing anything, so we'll try to attack these two positions. Uh, actually, I mean, there's not really any point to that, but whatever. Okay, let's see how this air raid does. Just trying to like prevent suppression, you know. It looks like that was very unsuccessful. We did not get any bombs off, and our planes are getting shredded. I thought that would be enough. It looks like they had at least four. I thought we'd get bombs off, but I mean, no damage. I mean, we strafed him a little bit. Oh, evac. Oh my god. You're gonna die, buddy. That's a really cute fighter. Not even gonna lie. Well, I'm kind of just waiting for the tanks to arrive, to be honest. It's possible they'll waste some more troops in using, uh, you know, in attacking, uh... Uh, using aircraft. It's possible they'll waste some guys there. I do see the potential to get this flag. There's just a small little gap we've got to have to have our guys cross, so... I'm thinking we'll just... These guys, these guys are all the bazooka guys, really? We don't have any normal dudes. All right, I'll use the bazooka guys, only because we don't have anything else. We'll put them on return fire. Try to grab that flag there. Just waiting on the tanks. And phase A is almost done. I didn't bother to look now, think about it, if they have like phase B or C troops coming, which I definitely should have checked. That would have been an intelligent thing to do. It's possible we could just use more aircraft and overwhelm that, but I don't see that as being a great plan. We've also got our local arty we can just start throwing around as well, so... You know what, let's use our HQ tank. Oh, oh my god, they only have 20mm AP shells, that is so bad. <laughs> Alright, um... Oh, I didn't mean to unload them there. That's okay, though. Oh, you better. I guess you better advance. Oh, let's bring you to the rear. I don't want you getting hit. Let's get. We have to move these to avoid counter battery. It looks like. 
which is kind of annoying, but, you know, honestly, pretty standard stuff. Okay, yeah, we know. Yeah, let's just push those woods there and see what happens. Uh, we lost an objective. I like the the machine gun duel going on there. That's cool. You know what? F it. Let's just start dropping mortars just literally all over the place. Does not even matter. I'm just trying to spend points. Oh, we do have artillery. That is good, right? Ah, uh, no, fall back. Okay, let's attack that sector. Keeping it small here. Looks like these guys are suppressed somehow. I guess the ZB-53s are better than the MG-34s. I don't really know. Let's pull that back just so it doesn't get hit by accident, essentially. Looks like this attack is not facing any resistance so far, but they're bound to have something on the point. some heavy already coming in. I think we're definitely outgunned already was. Maybe it would have been smart to bring in already, but you know we don't we don't need to do any of that nonsense really, right? Uh-oh. How did I lose a Nimrod? Must it must have been Oh, yeah, I think it was accidental. Quote unquote accidental. Also, it's probably good to not have my firing positions right where my Nimrods are. That would be something I should change. Okay, it looks like we're overwhelming a ZB-53 gun that they put there for some reason. Okay, pause. We got phase B hitting. No new troops because our tanks are not here yet. Um, let's start just getting all of our other arty out. Like, we're going to clean out our inventory of artillery. Nope, nothing right. Anything here? Any arty? Oh, here we go. Six motorized. You did good, son. Let's get also some extra recon out. Never hurts. It's always good to have extra recon. I'm wondering what's there that's stopping us from taking the point. It's possible it's literally just that pioneer unit, but I don't really know. Oh, this is why they defended this little signal, because they also had those to give some extra suppressive force, it looks like. Oh, they're daring. They're doing it. They're bringing in another aircraft. Man, I do not want to just sit here under artillery fire. I'm kind of counting on like our greater number of light guns to like out party them, you know. Let's launch another big airstrike and let's try to hit this Hotchkiss gun instead. I don't know if it's gonna work or not, but let's give it a shot. We'll start with, I guess, with these. It doesn't really matter, honestly. I'm just... And I'm not going to underestimate him. I'm going to hit him with everything we got. <laughs> just go ham on them. Hopefully, all of that will be enough so that these two guys can drop their payloads. Let's try it. Let's see if we can knock out a single AA gun. I have no clue it's going to work. Oh, it looks like... Okay, well, we already lost one. That guy's just going off in a random direction. Oh, he did not get his bombs off. Oh, these guys aren't going to make it either. What a disaster. Their A is just too thick. My goodness, that did not go well at all. No. That's crazy. I mean, I know it's not a bomber group. Like, I understand that, like, they don't have any kind of... It's not a good situation, but... 
still. Like, I thought they'd do better than that, right? Let's clean this out of Artie. Just throwing Artie everywhere, just not literally randomly. Kind of far apart so that counter Artie won't get him. Oh, these guys aren't very far apart. But other than that, trying to keep them pretty far apart. Uh, Alright, we already lost another already gun. I don't know what kind of toll we're taking on them, you know? We could be shredding them, we could be having no effect, I have no clue. I literally do not know. Okay, we got another aircraft coming in. Let's see if we can stop it. Alright, it hasn't. Oh, yeah, it dropped its bombs. Alright, that's not good. These guys may be a little bit far ahead of the AA net, I guess. Oh, nice, we got it. Oh, they did some damage to us, though. Okay, Artie Duel is going, I think, fairly well. Let's go through. Is there any other artillery? We got those three guns, and that's it. Okay. Now we are officially out of Artie. We are going to await the, the tanks. I guess we could try another infantry push, but like, where would we do it? I, get, I think we could actually push here. That shouldn't be terribly hard. Let's try it. Let's try it. Let's try it. I think we can do it. That might be able to give us some fire support. Losing mortars. I don't really care about mortars. But... I don't like how we're losing their ability to suppress the enemy. I think our Gurings are focusing... It looks like all of our Arty is pretty much focusing on the same stuff. Yeah, those, those mortars are definitely outclassed. Oh, nice. Yeah, we're shredding those bombers. That is sick. I think it's definitely going down. Alright, we are just straight up attacking. Let's move out. Oh no! They are responding with bombers and Artie. No bombs got dropped though. They are pushing back hard. They are really trying to stop us with those bombers there. We did, we did destroy a bomber. That's good. We lost someone. I don't know why. How did we lose our spot here? Let's get that flag back. I don't know what's going on there, boys. You got all they gotta do better, son. Oh yeah, let's move these guys to the back because we don't want him getting lost. So, for those of you guys who don't know, my like philosophy when playing with um, troops and army general is if you get a squad down to like two men. You know, it's like, you may as well just, or four men, evac them, because they'll come back full strength the next battle. There's no use in wasting a couple of troops. If the situation's desperate, you know, I'll throw them into the fray, but only if things are bad. So when they get below, like, five men, I think it's probably, I'm going to start withdrawing them. It's like, yeah, our already is suffering. Our infantry are totally pinned down. I guess we'll pour more infantry into the breakthrough. I mean, it's not a breakthrough, but we'll just pour more infantry into it. And maybe let's get some more machine guns. Like, there's no reason they should be out machine gunning us when we have so many machine guns. Yeah, I like that idea. Let's let's machine gun. Let's let's uh, buttress our front line with extra machine guns. I like that. And. These will be the reinforcements that I'm dedicating to the attack. I'm hoping that we have enough already to kind of like suppress the enemy. Oh, we lost another Nimrod. How? How can they see our Nimrods? I don't understand. Are these guys empty? Alright, pull them back. Pull them back. They're empty. They're empty. Oh, yet another bomber coming in here. 
put a nuisance. That thing must be targeting our, our, our already, right? Maybe it's targeting that thing. I have no clue. It's like, now that you mention it, I don't know what the fuck's going on. Oh, let's definitely pull these guys back. I don't want them getting hit by the counter already. For literally no reason. Let's try to move those machine guns up to the front. Oh, nice. We have secured the outskirts here. Let's get these command infantry back. Don't want to lose them for no reason. They're down to just two health. Oh, these guys are on top of each other. That's not a good strategic uh, move there, guys. Tactical move. Oh, lost a vehicle. It's okay, though. Oh, nice. Ooh, we are now losing guys right and left here. What's going on? Okay, everybody attack, go! Destroy them! Okay. I think they're definitely playing like they're in trouble. Like, they would, they should have more troops to move up, but like, they don't. We are running out of arty though, very quickly, which is concerning. Breakthrough here seems to be working. I'd be very con if I didn't have any tanks in reserve, things would be bad. But we've got tanks in reserve, so I'm not really worried about things. Let's dare to hit. Let's let's go ahead and try to hit those guys there. Oh wait, no, never mind. They got an anti-tank gun. Let's move up a little bit. You can use you can use a little bit of firepower. Oh, you guys better run away. That anti-tank gun will destroy you. Okay, it looks like we're actually doing some good damage to their an uh, air gun, uh, excuse me, anti-air guns as well. Seems to be a pretty decent situation there. So, that's, that's a positive. Let's try, uh, let's try to push up here and see what happens. Oh, nice. That was sick. Knocked out that anti-air gun. We're at a draw. We've totally broken through there. Let's get these guys all the way to the rear. Yeah, things are looking pretty good now. Just gotta make sure that we don't get any more Nimrods lost. Uh, you know, you kind of hope to save them for, like, armored breakthroughs, but... Yeah, we are knocking out those... guns. Uh-oh. That's not good. That bomber's definitely... Gonna, those bombers are definitely about to get through. Um, what can we do? It uh, looks like we lost all of our Nimrods in that area. We have one left. Um, I guess we're going to have to use our aircraft. We don't really have a lot. I mean, we've got enough aircraft. We should be able to saturate the air defense in that, but I don't really know how well it's going to work in practice because we already tried it. It didn't go crazy well. But we knocked out some anti-air guns, so let's just try. Actually, I think we're gonna evac here. I think we're just gonna lose these guys if we push. Oh, they're banking right over this dense, dense net here. That is unfortunate. Oh, look, they're already sending in more bombers. The tanks cannot arrive soon enough. Let's uh, let's, let's pull those guys back. Pull those guys back. Get more infantry up to replace them. Pull those MGs back. They're taking a lot of fire. Oof, yeah, that is... It's a lot of fire. Oh, nice. 
nice. Good stuff. Got got that there. Nice. Fighting with limited forces can definitely be fun on the defense, but on the attack, it can be not nearly as fun. Let me tell you. Especially when they're just throwing bombers at you like crazy. Oh my god. They are definitely targeting that Nimrod. Uh, let's get that back, too. Okay, I'd say we lost the artillery battle. It looks like we are not doing so well there anymore. Let's make sure these guys are retreating and not pushing up, because they do not need to be pushing up right now. I feel like we took out a good amount of AA, but obviously not enough. Russian. What is this? What are they even what are they even shooting at? Come on now. Don't be like that. Who knows what they're shooting at? I definitely do not. Okay, those guys are empty. Yeah, that's empty. We're just pulling back our empty our empty things so they don't get hit for no reason. And as our troops up here just become punching bags with bombers. Okay. Oh, yeah, at least, I think it unleashed like half its bomb load there. Oh, another Nimrod, no. The losses of the open-topped Nimrods have been horrendous. Okay, we got the we got the tanks. Let's go. We saved up, so um, hopefully we've got enough recon out that we should be able to adequately identify the locations of like the enemy fire. Um, so let's just go simple, right? Let's do like uh, you know, let's get a nice group of four and this here. I don't want to get side shotted, but you know we're gonna risk it for the biscuit. We're gonna use our heavy tigers to break out onto this plateau. And that's because ooh, we can also deploy a ton of additional Nimrods. Might not be good to spend them all, but you know what? Let's do it. Uh, hopefully there'll be so many that the enemy can't deal with them. Oh yes, we're going to deploy heavy tanks. So that's Turans. They should be down here, right? Yes. Okay. There's our objectives. Let's set the tanks out. Let's have them do what they came here to do. They're here to host breakthrough operations. Let's do it. Let's knock out these insanely annoying bombers. Uh, I guess we could try to break out onto this plateau as well. So I think to do that, we're just going to want to maybe just have a lot of... Let's just rely on sheer mass here. And we'll get a couple of recon tanks out, of course. Those recon tanks are valuable because you do not want to lose them, you know, when you're on the attack. Okay, let's try that. how this is going to go. Oh, it looks like they, they threw out a recon plane. They're kind of curious. They're like, what's going on up there? Oh, do these Panzer regiments come with Artie? Probably do not. No. They've got Schwarloses. That's funny. Alright. That's cool. Yes, your doom is approaching. I hope they feel the rumble of armor coming in. And I'm hoping that if we take out some 
those AA guns. I'm hoping that'll kind of let us. Uh, all right. Just a regular bomber. I'm worried they have ground attack planes. Like, even just two ground attack planes would not be good, good for us. Okay, it looks like our Nimrods are just shredding. Beautiful. Oh, those ships are going to surrender. They are in trouble. It's going to be kind of hard to micro my tanks. I've got like four different simultaneous attacks occurring, but I kind of want to like overwhelm them, you know, so I don't know. Okay, these guys are supposed to knock out this clump here, this cluster. Oh my god, they are just swarming with those infantry right down the middle. Good thing our tanks just arrived because that would have been a big problem. Uh, how are things going over here? Okay, we've got our recon tanks leading the way. Let's stop those for now, just because I don't want them getting knocked out. First, let's let the Panzer IVs lead the way. If we have to lose tanks, we can lose Panzer IVs, but it's like, okay. Oh, they got Calarasi. They are, they are bumming right now. Oh my goodness. I'm hoping our tanks will turn the tide. We definitely do not need to have a draw. We really should be breaking through here. a draw that makes me nervous let's just ram just 16 tarans just straight down the middle because this is that's a that's a good that's tactics that is those are pro tactics let's just ram these guys right down the middle and see what happens we just gotta knock these guys off just knock them out okay nice we knocked out some aa oh good good stuff good stuff got that flag back Let's just push with that big blob. That is a professional tactic, I promise. Looks like our AA is doing a good job of kicking these bombers out. Our reinforced AA. It's so fun to watch. These guys get wrecked. Like, the infantry animations are just perfect. Okay, let's see if our ridiculous blobs will be enough to turn the tide. Because, I mean, there's a decent chance it won't be enough. But, I mean, come on. We gotta try. damage to those infantry, honestly. And they're not firing on the move, so I don't know why they're not performing very well. Oh, they knocked out our recon tank over here, I see. Yes, they are rushing up. Troops there. Okay, let's let's get this hilltop up back under our control. Let's get some more infantry up here. I just, I feel like mass is not the answer here. Like, mass is not the answer because... They already will stun units, whether you have two units or eight guys in the same little sector, so I'm kind of hesitant to just swarm them, you know? I'm not liking the effect of that mortar fire on our tanks. If they had ground attack aircraft, though, they would have used it by now, so at least we know they don't have something like that waiting in the wings. Okay, we are breaking them apart here. Yeah, a draw would not be a victory because it'd be a win if we were defending, but we have to break through, so... Okay. We lost a tank to something. Oh, I see. An anti-tank gun there. Force. We're just losing tanks left and right. Doesn't even matter. Are those guys taking fire? I have no clue. 
Let's move these up to the next level here, and we definitely need our recon up. Okay, and I'm not liking how there's uh, guys are positioned there. That, that could lead to some trouble, so. Okay, knocking out enemy AT, you know. It's possible that the enemy AA is now a lot less heavy. I have no clue. Okay, we're focusing on the Schneiders, that's good. It looks like we're knocking them out pretty effectively. Our AA is shredding the enemy aircraft. Uh, we don't have any tanks down the central lane, so... I guess we'll try to push some tanks up this route. Um, I'm just I'm hesitant to do this because I don't want to... Um, I'd rather micromanage, you know, and lose less tanks, but to get a win, we have to push, so... I didn't meet a little too late already. Okay, looks like our Panzer Clump is moving up. That's good. They have really focused their defenses up here on that ridge. Okay, good stuff. Our infantry are here. Uyatos elsütő villentyűre. Uh. Whoa. Oh, I didn't know the Kalarasi had anti-tank weaponry. That's not good. We already lost at least one tiger. That sucks. Okay, do not underestimate the Kalarasi. I learned that to my own peril already. Such a clusterfuck. Well, at least after this, I know that they're not going to have almost any, uh, I said no, they'll be almost out of anti-tank capability because we've destroyed a lot of anti-tank guns. Still facing a draw. Um, our tank swarm is heading up here, so that's good news. There's so many infantry, so much infantry yeah. up here. There's no flag to grab, so I guess I'll push these guys back. Although that's definitely not my instinct. Um, well, there's that flag there. I don't think we can take it, though. If we're gonna win, we definitely need this flag here, so I guess we'll try another wave. And, uh, okay, it looks like we got those guys all on the run, which is just sweet. we should try. Uh, let's go ahead and hit this hilltop just because it's been the most annoying thing. And again, I'm using fighters just to kind of soak up the enemy AA so that these ground attack aircraft can actually get in and do their job. Well, these guys are running low on eight feet on uh, those shells. That's not a good sign. Oh, they have so many infantry. Bro, they're not even close to running out of infantry. That's not good. Okay. Oh my god. They have a swarm. These swarms of infantry. There's no way we can break through these with just tanks. I don't know what we're going to do, but... We have to try something else, because this is, like, not working. Well, this has definitely been a learning curve battle. Um, works and what doesn't, because we definitely learned that this strategy is not working very well. We have to definitely try something new in the future. Oh dear. They got some kind of anti-tank gun there sniping our vehicles, so... Alright, come on. Let's 
Time to quit, bomber. I don't know who suffered more, honestly. Yeah, in terms of infantry firepower, I don't see us completely with that either, because they have more, seemingly more manpower than us. I'm not sure how to kind of succeed here. Okay, that was a draw. We did not manage to break through. 155 to 228. Yeah. I mean, it's like good, but like, we need to have better than good if we're going to break through these defensive lines. And this is our only tank unit, so I actually prefer, I don't even care about this. The Army General has a much better reporting uh, system. Yeah, their Army General has a much better reporting system because you can clearly see, oh, these are the units that got lost. And I like this a lot better. We lost a tiger? Okay, I can take it. And, and six. All right. Oh my god. We lost 15 turn on 1s. I did not realize we were losing that many. Uh, that is pretty bad. We only lost one plane. That's good. Good collection of infantry. And uh, what do we take out? I mean, you know, only 437 mils. I was hoping to get more than that. Uh, we, we did knock out a lot of planes and just a small collection of artillery. Honestly, pretty bad first battle. Um, but at least our tanks are in position now, which is good. Um, yeah, our tanks are in position, so I can take that. Uh, these guys got... Let's see, those have... Yeah, I mean, it looks like the full strength is 920, so these guys didn't lose a lot of manpower, but as you can see, tanks and AT, they have no anti-tank capability. Uh, no anti-tank guns. And then here, only three anti-tank guns left. I'm not sure what kind of anti-air capability they have left. Looks like that's a couple of guns. All of their Hotchkisses must be destroyed. I think I lost, they, I saw them, they lost 12 Hotchkiss guns. So I feel like that's a pretty good number that would make up a unit. So I feel like they're all dead, which is good. Um, yeah, honestly, we didn't kill a lot of their infantry. Um, we did not kill a lot of their infantry. So that's what we're going to be doing this next time. At least, I think we bled heavily. 88%. Yeah, we bled a lot, but at least we knocked out all their AT. So I think next time, when we break through, it should be easier. You're probably going to use the turn to try and dig in, but as long as we break through before that, we'll be good. Um, okay, so that was a interesting battle. Uh, I think that gave me a sense of how things are kind of going to go. What is the second army corps? Ooh, these guys have Jagdpanzers and Stugs. Perfect for the kind of campaign that we're going to be doing, which is trying to push infantry up in waves, and then those Stugs can kind of support in the back with their guns. We don't, we don't really need them to take out tanks necessarily. Battle group Abraham, what even is that? Fessner, two Stugs, remnants of this engineer brigade, alright, whatever. Guess we'll bombard these guys, I don't really know, it doesn't really matter. And I guess we're gonna try to encircle them here. Okay, recon battalion, I like it. I like their uh, mobility at the army general level, is really awesome. Okay, a flak unit, that's cool. And we got some infantry regiments which are all the way in the back. Oh, these guys can these guys can get it. These guys can move. Mountain replenishment brigade. I guess the mountains may be up here or something. I don't really know the terrain that well. And I guess we'll just move these border guards straight forward. This is the phase where you're just like, alright, let's let's regroup, let's get everybody into position, you know. I wonder what kind of, I really am wondering what kind of air units they still have available. 
Skelzer's command. Okay, let's mount an attack now. Oh, wait, we can't yet. Okay. I'm counting. I'm hoping they don't attack me. I don't think they will. Let's move up to, like, right here, and the next turn we'll establish an AA net to drive away pesky Kami aircraft. Oh, I didn't even realize. I'm so low IQ. I did not even realize that this links up to this. So we can subvert this defense if we're fast. How did I realize that? This is so much better than breaking through. If we can get behind here, we'll cut their reinforcements. And hopefully we can push the bridge. Oh, we've got those recon. Okay, it looks like... Oh, here we go. Armored Attachment Jupiter, so our first tanks. I feel confident if they hit us, we can just use our ground attack aircraft and stop them, along with our small collection of anti-tank guns. I, I feel confident we can stop Panzer IVs. I'm not that worried about it. Okay. Um, yeah, let's def- we're just gonna try to break through on this side. This is- this looks like the best thing to do. Cut these bridges. If we can seize them, that would be perfect. It would be right next to our goal already. But if we could just cut this, that would be great. And if we can cut this and then move our way down here, we can cut this and hopefully cut off all these troops. And I'm hoping with here we can do a little encirclement with these guys and this guy. Cut off these two regiments and then- I don't even care about attacking this. I just care about Static Battalion Cluj. I just care about pushing as fast as we can down this way to try to get down to here and then cutting this way. Um, but we'll see what kind of forces we encounter because that may lead to like some different realities, you know, when you're actually trying to play. Um, this is second recon battalion. Let's just try to sneak, you know, let's try to do the sneak around. I mean, it's possible. I think we could do it. Second Armored Division HQ. We'll uh, we'll push that here. We can use that in the breakthrough. I think it'll be important. Yeah. All right. Well, it looks like a pretty good disposition of forces. We have 50 points we can spend, which is cool to start. I guess it's because we're on the offense. It's like, oh, here we go. Is this some tanks? Okay. This is tanks. This is good. Assault Gun Brigade. 46 tanks. Oh, that's nice. All right. That is sweet. Some smaller amount of tanks there. Blocking group Kessel. See, Kessel means like pocket or cauldron in German. So blocking group cauldron. I don't know if that makes sense, but Kessel might be the commander. So that's nice. We got these replenishment regiments, which are just infantry. I don't see any need for that yet. I really don't see any need for that, so we're not going to spend any points because I just don't see that being worth anything. Okay, um, I'm thinking about ending the video here and just seeing. I really thought we were going we to get another battle in, but let's go ahead and pass the turn and see if they attack. If they attack us, we'll end the video because I don't think we have time for two big battles, but let's see what they do on their turn because I'm curious what kind of actions they'll take. Okay, they will attack us, I see. Uh, actually, I lied. We'll do this battle. And aircraft. We got our dive bomber group and we got our fighter group. I don't know what kind of aircraft they're going to throw in. So, probably smart to do fighters. But for our ground troops to survive, I feel like we need bombers. Hmm. I just, yeah, I mean, this is not a lot of troops. I mean, never mind. This is a thousand troops. That's a lot of troops. If they attack us and they get rebuffed, they, that's going to be embarrassing. And they move their artillery for some reason, so they can't participate. I'm just, I'm sure they'll use aircraft here. I'm sure they'll deploy aircraft. I just don't know what they'll deploy. And I'd love to use bombers to hit these guys. But I want to shoot down their fighters. Do these guys have any native anti-aircraft guns? Uh, they do not. Yes, that is a difficult situation. You know, I almost say against my better instincts. You know, though, these guys with the gun pods can destroy aircraft. 
We're just gonna go with that. It does not matter. Let's just try it. You say yeet. I saw that line on the tactical map that you get a flash of, so I can tell that they're deploying. So let's try this. If it's other ground attack aircraft, I'm down to use... Oh, they have a night fighter squadron. Are those fighters? Are those not fighters? Nobody knows. It's a mystery what they have. If it's some kind of bomber type thing, like JU-88s, which were historically used as night fighters, then we're good. Alright, well, we got Schwarloses and stuff. That's cool. Like, MG-34 machine broke. We got Schwarloses. That's it. Alright. That's cool. Schwarloses is a terrible machine. I'm just not even going to cap. It is a terrible, terrible machine gun. Alright, disheartened troops. Let's see how you guys perform. I'm not ready to be impressed. I mean, that's okay. Like, I expect them not to do well. But I think with machine guns, they should be decent. And I guess we'll throw in a commander, too. Uh, okay, we've got a whole front line to cover, though. So let's not get too distracted. I guess we'll throw some... Pioneer troops into this little section. I love using, I love using pioneers in like random spots where like you know they're going to be useful. And these Lovas Feldtrot guys are great because they have the Feg 31M, which is like I think it's basically a Gewehr 43, like a semi, like a nice semi-auto rifle. Okay, I'm thinking we'll just deploy some Schwarloses here along this, like, whole road. And then some infantry here to kind of anchor the defense. Oop. Cancel that. Time will tell what kind of aircraft they have. We're going to start with gun pods, though. Oh, 12 MG-81s? What? That's unreal. That's, like, unheard of. 12... Oh, my God. That is crazy. Alright, let's uh, deploy this here. Might be able to get some... Knock out some trucks on the road there, which could be sick. Yeah, it might be smart to bring out more, like explicitly, like, anti-tank capability, because that will help us nail, like, uh, armored cars and stuff, you know? Or, not armored cars, sorry. That'll help us nail trucks that are full of enemy troops, which is uh, really important, honestly. But we got some more Arkazoks. I love Pioneer infantry so much. Oh, okay. We're gonna go ahead and these guys are perfect in woods. Like, this right here, perfect spot for one. They will never get... I mean, they can get overrun, but usually they won't. I feel like we definitely don't have enough recon, but that's okay. I really wish we had more recon, but I really don't want to give up any troops that I've already placed. Let's at least get, like, somebody, for the love of the lord, over here. At least hold the flag. Okay, I'll see what happens. I have no clue what's going to happen. Literally zero guarantees as to our success here. Let's speed it up just a tad. Looks like the front line is not moving appreciably. As you can see, I kind of took a little bit more of a conservative defensive approach. Oh my god, are they bi are they have biplanes? That would be awesome. Please tell me that's what they're deploying. That is a cute 
That is a cute plane right there. Oh my goodness. It is about to get completely just shredded. But it's cute. I'm actually very excited to see how gun pod armed 12 MG. I don't even know where they all are. I mean, I see one, two, three, four, five, six on each pod. I don't, I don't know. Those things are slow, though. Oh my god, they are not catching up to that biplane. I mean, they're having a hard time. Like, come on, you guys can do it. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious, son. Looks like we got points now, though. Let's try to, uh... Let's see, what do we got? Let's try to... We can definitely get this sector under more control by throwing in some recon tanks. That won't actually impact the front line, but it'll definitely make me feel better. This thing is so slow, it's unreal. There it goes. It got knocked out in seconds, though. Okay, is that a real fighter? We're in trouble. If that's a, oh, that's a real fighter. All right, we're in trouble. We have to at least do four v ones on these guys, and we're screwed. Oh, can you can you get a head head on shot? Oh yes, you can. Oh, then we're good. Then we're good. They have real fighters though. That's like not good. Oh shit, the tail gunners won't be enough. Oh, they're screwed. Oh my god, they got taken out in seconds. That was like no time at all. Uh, okay. What should we do? What should we do? Let's take out that ground attack plane, because I know for a fact we're going to lose, man, if that ground attack plane gets its rounds off. We have, a, we are at the disadvantage, I see. Uh, let's unload this. Quick like. Quick evac. There's pl Those planes have to be right behind it, right? We are in trouble. I don't know what we're gonna do. They have real, they have real aircraft. Like, this is not a joke. I like those Granite Seri Kalaris. Those are like nice troops. Those are nice units there. So, what do we do? Do we try to match the enemy with aircraft? Like, do we try to overpower them? I don't know, but. Okay, good. We were getting some good kills, alright. No cause for excessive alarm. Our machine guns are holding the ground there. We can probably. Let's just start dropping some more Schwarloses, just like over open ground. Not here. We do need troops here, though. Oh, let's try to get some regular troops in here, just because the recon won't, uh, won't, you know, hold, isn't enough to hold the front line. I, I'm really wishing we had some AA capability right around now. Ooh, they have 15 flags, that's not good. It would also probably be good to get a tank going right here and just to seize that flag, because... Coming in, they're coming in. Where? Oh, all right. Is that a? That's a recon biplane. All right, we're we're good. We're good. We're not worried about that. Those Calarasi are too good, cause like it's a sniper team that has ten men. Like, oh well. At least like when we have a solid defense, we're okay. But like if not, like we're in, we get in trouble like fast. Like it gets bad. Uh, Swarlos is dead already. Alrighty. Cool. Oh god. I thought that thing was safe. It's not safe. I don't know how we're gonna impact their aircraft. I really don't know. What do we even do? Let's just get more. I mean, do we just put more machine guns up here? I guess we can do that. Uh, 
Okay, I was just checking to see if we had any fighters, but nope, we do not have any fighters. That is unfortunate. Second recon battalion. We do have a commander. Nice. We'll throw him right there. Lost another Svarloza. I guess I saw that coming. Let's get more Svarlozas up and just overwhelm them with MG firepower. And uh, let's try to jump that plane. It's really annoying. We're going to try to just, just, just get on top of that thing. Is it a mistake? Possibly. Possibly a mistake. Oh, his tail gunner's firing. Okay. Okay, we're still facing a minor defeat, so that's not ideal, but it's okay. Oh wow, the enemy is really, uh, really decided to entrench themselves there. I guess we'll just go in there and get some more of these tanks in. I mean, this thing's only got a machine gun, but like, why not? Okay, let's just unload those. How could you not see the enemy? They're right there. Okay, nice. Their fighters are retreating. Yeah, if we can get the fighters head on, we're good. But if not, it's obvious that like we are in trouble. Wait. How did I lose a Toldy? Oh, it got hit from all the way over there. Are you serious? Come on. Do better, guys. How could these not see? I did not realize this is a hill. That, or, yeah, that is unfortunate. Okay, turns out the situation there was literally fine. I did not have to be worried. Let's try a little push like that, see what happens. Got a get guy out there, got that guy out there. Well, they still got a fighter circling, so I'm not willing to intercept that guy yet, but, you know. Honestly, they they can they can just be chilling right now because they have the advantage big time. We're gonna try to rush those positions there, and we need that flag. So let's get extra troops here. And we need at least one other flag. I don't feel like taking that area down there. I don't think that's a good plan. Uh, I don't know how we're going to get another flag, to be honest. Too bad you can't put these guys on auto fire. That would be sick. That might be overpowered. It would be fun, though. I guess we'll try some recon vehicles there. I don't know. Let's go ahead and get some uh, Pioneer infantry into these woods. Actually, I guess we're out of Pioneer infantry. That's unfortunate. Um, I guess we'll just try to rush these guys with tanks. I don't know. That could work. We should be able to just nail those guys with bombers, but those fighters are too scary. Honestly, bombers would be perfect for a lot of the situations I'm facing here. Ok, 
Okay, we're actually pushing them out here. That's good. Good stuff. Let's get that tank all the way to the back. It's a miracle it's alive. Okay, you know, we're just gonna have to start bombing. Like, we have to start bombing. That's too juicy. We did not bomb it. We're gonna lose if we don't, so. Come on, there we go. Alright, well, that is a, these guys have some crazy heavy bomb loads available. Okay, we'll send that to bomb that, and then we'll send these two as quote unquote escorts. Oh, okay, we can buy one more, which will be an extra escort fighter. At least they're kind of helpless to our tanks, that's good. That was nice, I'm not gonna lie. Oh my god, I forgot how much I love the bombing animation. It's literally so sick. Like, it's so awesome. Good stuff. Uh, okay, we're losing trucks to something. I don't know what. Let's go ahead and take that thing. Uh, oh, I see. We're, we have our trucks under attack there. Our trucks here are good, though, so I'm not worried about it. It looks like our uh, these guys are in position finally and are pushing the enemy back. We've got a minor defeat in 20 minutes, so I think we can sustain that. Nice. Thank goodness they're not creative enough to actually strafe our guys. I'm actually kind of liking this battle, like in a weird asymmetrical way, it's pretty fun. And we have that flag, which is absolutely sick. Let's get these guys down there, and uh, why not some additional recon. I think we've played enough that we should. We're in an okay position now for the most part. Let's, let's try to get... I want the buff recon, recon squads kind of near the front line, and these weaker ones kind of where you don't think that they're going to get hit, at least right away, you know? I don't really know if that's actually going to do much, but it's like... I want to make an effort with the recon to, you know, get them in good positions. And then we've got leaders that we can throw out too, let's not forget about them. Okay, nice uh, group of forces there. Oh, that guy's out of AP, it looks like. I think those guys should definitely fall back. We'll pull these guys to the rear. car groups are honestly not doing badly. Good stuff. Knocked that out. Let's get our Arca Zox up there. Let's fucking go. Nice. We've got that hilltop control going on. Absolutely sick. ZB-53. 365 rounds a minute, 291, 0 0.5 damage, 0 0.5 damage, 1250 versus 1000, so I think the range is the biggest thing that's really inhibiting the Schwarlows is from doing well. Okay, things are even, things are even. I like how with this battle we don't have tanks, but we're doing better somehow, like it's kind of fun. It's kind of goofy and fun, you know? Nice, 
we are just overrunning them because they have literally zero anti-tank capability. I thought they had at least some anti-tank guns, but apparently not. Um, I wonder if they have troops joining them. We definitely don't have anybody joining us. Um, let's go ahead and get some additional bombers out. I feel comfortable that we can start bombing, possibly. I don't want to use these, because if we lose one, it's a lot of firepower. Like, that is a heavy bomber. This is a lot less good. I mean, it's still good, but it's not like the same thing. Just kind of what I'm thinking about. Oh, good stuff. Knocking that out. Nice. Maybe we can break through over there in a minute. We'll have to see, we'll have to see. Good stuff, pushing those guys back, sick. They literally have no anti -tank. like they literally can't stop three vehicles that have 10 millimeters of armor. Do better guys, it's kinda embarrassing. In fact, I'm going to even give them reinforcements because they are breaking through. And then we're going to start dropping mortars out. Standard practice now. Oh, we lost one of our Arkazok units. That's not good. Uh-oh. Where is that? Where did I lose that tank? I don't even remember where I put it. Okay, we're good. I was like, I don't sound good, but no, we're all right. Okay, let's get this recon to the front. I don't know where we lost that tank, but I don't think. Oh, it was right here. They managed to. They managed to jump us. They got us. All right, that is very fair. guy was kind of operating on the edge anyways, I suppose. Ooh, they are all just pit. They are entrenched, aren't they? Alright. Well, let's go ahead and get some bombers to hit those. We'll get some of these guys to hit that guy, we'll get those guys to hit that, and then these guys will follow up and take out any fighters. That is a complete JU-85 strike package. Usually I would not move these guys through woods, because they're not equipped for it, but we don't have any other infantry, so I think we're just going to do it. pretty well. Oh, they do have an AT gun there. Nice. I'm hoping that many rear gunners too would hopefully stop the enemy from pressing them. I don't really know if that would actually work in practice. I have no idea. I just want to kind of reinforce our breakthrough here because it's obviously been successful. Lost another Toldy where? Oh, over here. Okay. Panzer Shrek team got him. We gotta be careful with those. Oh, and we also lost that town, which is not good. So let's make sure that does not keep happening.
this guy is low on ammo now. Let's get a supply truck up to him. He definitely has earned it. Oh, and since we've got the points, let's go ahead and buy more mortars. I should buy some heavier stuff. Yeah, that's nice. This feels like a battle in slow motion, I don't know about you guys, but it's like the units are so slow, relatively speaking, it's like, my goodness, like... Oh, come on, take it out! Oh, there we go, nice, we got stunned. Guess we better support that with a supply truck. kick them off the hill let's go look at that they're not they've got plenty of troops though it looks like they are not afraid to just keep pouring them in no we lost those guys yeah they seem to just kind of be pouring infantry into that sector it may be time to get Let's, let's go a little bit more arty, and then we'll start investing more into um, aircraft. And I do want to see, maybe they added an auto-fire capability. I doubt it, but if they did, that would be so amazing. That would actually make those 50 mils worth using, in my opinion. Okay, well, we actually used up all of our arty, so forget that. And we're just going to buy whatever bombers now. I'm not too worried about enemy aircraft. They may have only had those couple of planes. I don't know for sure, but... It's possible. Oh, they are not afraid to be pushing there either, it looks like. They are just swarming in. Oh yeah, it's probably past time we actually put like real infantry there. It's like kind of an important part of the battle group, you know? I'm like confident in my ability to like micro infantry, you know, at like incredibly slow speeds, better than the AI can at least. Looks like we got those annoying Calarasi coming in. We should have enough planes to just hit everything that we see. Alright, we're gonna get some more bombers, pause it because we got that, it lets us have time. to kind of hit everything like just go for it guys hit it hit it all we'll send out some of these these will be our escort units it looks like they're actually trying to break through this area Okay, attack those guys. Uh oh, we might be in trouble. Yeah, they definitely are not out of units. Okay, good. They're per they're re they're pursuing some ones that are already on the way out. I'm gonna go uh, slightly against my instincts and just try to attack some of these head on. I feel like head-on they got the best chance of survival, so I kind of want to hit them hard. See, that went pretty well. And that one's evacuated now. We're going to cut our losses, though, and retreat. Or, not cut our losses. We won, so. Oh, is that one of our well-armed? That's probably one of our well-armed ones. Oh, no. Alright, well, you win some, you lose some. 
Good news is we got all of our already operational. It should really help us in stopping uh, these enemy infantry attacks because it'll hopefully let us kind of pit them down and do a lot of damage to the enemy. Okay, fire at will. Ooh, they're tr they really are intent on overrunning us here, aren't they? Uh -oh. We lost another Toldy. Where? Here? Oh gosh. That's just too close. Uh oh, it's gonna fire again. I guess the woods are just too close. Too close of a range. Which sucks, because I think that's the perfect environment for those little tanks, but. That's reality. Okay, it does not have an auto fire, so it's useless. Okay, that's fine. Oh, let's move these guys to the rear. I really didn't think we might have more arty, but we do not. Uh, we are gonna start hitting these guys, though. I'm just hoping in groups the Stukas can kind of succeed. Like, if they get attacked, I mean, I hope their rear gunners can kind of ward off the enemy. Hoping in just superior micro skill winning the day. We do have the advantage overall. We have the advantage. We are winning. But not by much. Look at that mortar. It's just out of range. Bruh. That is actually a that is most definitely a bruh moment. Like Okay, pause. This is what our recon planes are here for. It looks like we got some good hits on the enemy there. Okay, well. Oh, no way! They got him. Nice. That was a long range hit, too. That was sick. I think the enemy's infantry mass is kind of approaching now, so. I feel like we definitely might be in trouble here. I'm hoping our Stukas can hold off the enemy. Yeah, those will be our escorts. These will be our strike aircraft, if you will. Strike and strike. I'd really not rather lose those because those are nice. I guess we'll send them in for the attack. It doesn't really matter. Oh, another tank. How did I lose another tank? Okay. Oh, nice. There you go. Good hits. Well, I kind of put that tank in a completely untenable position. I just need to, like, keep it alive now. Like, what else can you do? I'm really liking how we broke through there. That is a that is nice. That is a nice breakthrough. Uh, okay, good. Now they're coming over the top. They're running right into the machine guns. World War One style, nice. Oh, that's where we lost our other tank. All right, let's just replace those guys. Just you know, one for one replacement. Get more infantry in there. I guess we'll get a Schwarloses up here to replace the infantry, and that'll free up all those infantry off the point, and they can start pushing. So I'm liking that they're having to come over the hill right in the machine guns. That is very, that is clearly very effective. Look, they keep pushing this, this middle section. They keep coming at us. Oh, they do have anti-tank capability. Are they just, 
I don't know why they're not moving it over. Maybe they are, and it's all on foot? I, I truly don't know. Yeah, get out of here, anti-tank gun. Okay, they are pushing hard here. Oh my goodness, they have a cluster. They are totally clustered. We are just gonna start hitting every every squad gets a Stuka here. And we need one more. Okay, you also get a Stuka. Oh, and there's another squad there. We give them a Stuka too. And we'll hit them as well. Oh, and those guys too. Okay, and our, these recons will be our cover screen. Pull these back to the rear. Oh, we lost a supply truck. That's it, Rat was the one we lost right there. How unfortunate. Alright, <laughs> they're all going into their attack runs. Let's go! That was perfect. Okay, enemy attack. Nope, just a regular plane. We're good, guys. We're good. Gotta rely on that nasty close air support to kick these guys out. Looks like those guys didn't even manage to push in though, so we need another infantry wave. Okay, good stuff. We uh, just re restored the line there. Things over there looking good. B does. Bro, the fact they can't kill that mortar, I just don't want to push it because I know enemy infantry is just waiting on either side there to hit me at close range. So it's like not worth it, but it's like so annoying that they're right there and it's like you just can't do anything about it. Oh, we lost that. We lost that brave soul. Okay, now they're the ones facing the minor defeat. Just the way I like it. They do not have almost any counter fire to our arty, it looks like, which is cool. Uh, they are definitely pushing hard, though, with extra tanks right down that, or troops, right down that center path. So we're just going to go ham on them and get more stukas onto them. There you go, just keep hitting them. Constant cycle. Nice. Okay, it looks like we got enemy fighters coming in here. Let's try to kill it. Oh, it didn't quite get him. Alright, let's evac that instead. Ooh, this guy might get him though. I don't think he will. Alright, we'll evac, we'll evac, no biggie. So, I don't see any red line threat coming in, but we should have more infantry, at least to cover that. Oh, rip. RIP to that guy. And I think we're gonna need more infantry.
sentry here too in this kind of close range zone there. And uh, definitely more infantry here. Uh, we've already got more stukas ready, which is nice. Let's just keep hitting this central road. I'm hoping they do the AI is spending its points here over and over, you know, so I can just keep hitting it over and over. And now uh, let's kill that by that annoying recon biplane. Okay, anybody else who does who did not get a Stuka? Well, let's go ahead and hit you over there. And uh, let's go ahead and get you too. Anybody else across the front? Hopefully we've kind of overwhelmed their air defenses. Might lose that flag. That's not good. But they'll run into these machine guns, so it's okay. Alright, we're just hitting like everything that we see. Coming to exact their revenge. Let's evac. Good stuff there, guys. Nice. Uh, okay, this D5. Let's go head to head and try to take it out. And we'll send this uh, Stuka as well. Oh, nice. We got it. Embarrassing L for the Soviets there. Oh, let's pull you back. You don't need to be at the front. Okay, that guy's almost dead, so we'll pull him back. Let's go infantry blob across here and see just what we can hit. flag is definitely gone. We're going to reinforce this with another wave of tr uh, troops. Oh, that, that's, that's like our last wave, isn't it? That's not good. And our Stukas are not ready yet, for the most part. Air support simulator. Let's go. Close air support simulator for the win. Possibly. Just a train of Schwarloses coming up. One escort fighter. I don't know if it's going to be needed or not, but hopefully it will not be. Oh, another anti tank gun. I guess we should really prioritize those, right? Because. Oh, a 
Oh no, that's not a bomber. All right, we're good. We're good. Thought we were in trouble there. Okay, just waiting on more aircraft to become available. We're pushing hard here. I don't see the front line moving at all, so they must be dug in right there. And pretty tight too. Okay, at this point we're putting these Gloriosk squads. Nothing better than the Gloriosk. I don't know if I'm saying that right. In the, in the defensive role. Nothing better, so... Those three should really lock down that area. We'll go ahead and hit those guys with a new wave and uh, get some dedicated ground attack going on those guys. That's what's holding up the front line, it looks like, because we are grabbing them there. Oh, that guy's almost dead. Let's pull him back. Okay, that was not nearly as effective as I thought it would be. Okay, I guess those guys better pull back. guys back. Standard practice. Our defense is holding strong. They're gonna have that minor defeat. This is the kind of like farm type situation that I just love to see where not a lot that they can do and we can just hit them over and over. We'll do ground attack or we'll do attack ground on them just in case they disappear sneakily on us. And uh, let's go ahead and knock out that annoying, that annoying aircraft. Okay, is this guy moving? Is he on the move? No, he's not. So we'll ground attack him too. Everybody can get it. Anybody else available? Anybody? No, it's okay. We'll just throw some random leader troops in there since we're so low on men. Oh my god, they're hitting our mortars and snipers. Oh no. Okay, nice. Took that guy out. Sick. Oh, nice. You guys are lining up. We're going to nail those guys. Oh, they missed. I don't think they got anything. I don't think they got anything on their run there. We'll try again, though. bad guys can actually be left. I think they're, the tide is kind of s slowing. I feel like the tide is slowing. Oh, that's juicy. Let's definitely hit that cluster there. Looks like their aircraft have completely left the chat. Oh, no way. They just deploy an anti-tank gun just now? Like, 
Why did they wait so long? I don't understand that at all. I can't believe they just put an anti-tank gun there. The audacity. Dude, these guys are getting cleaned up. Let's get you to the rear where you belong. Uh, let's just keep it up with the air attacks. I guess we'll use this giant clump here to try to take those troops out because they're getting really annoying. That was a full on miss. There's gotta be somebody for you to hit. You hit you can hit those guys. Yes, please do that. Alright, yeah, at this point I'm pretty content just let the clock run out, because we're gonna win now. For sure. Anybody left? Anybody who wants to get this heat? You, no, you, oh, okay, we do have a mortar team there. We do not have any bombers available, so it looks like we're going to have to wait on that. Actually, we can probably just strafe him. That should be fine. No enemy fighters uh, are in the chat now. Uh, let's pull that guy back. That Kalarasa squad is doing some damage. Oh my gosh. They're just they're just walking them. They're not even going trucks now. They're just like, let's just walk them toward the front line at this point. Yeah, they don't care at all. Okay, we got some Stukas ready. Some bombers. Just hit this giant train of people. Uh, hit that. Just knock it out. It's possible they're out of AT weapons here. Let's try to sweep in and knock out whatever they have. If we lose one, though, then we'll know they're not out of AT weapons. <laughs> what is this? Oh, those guys have AT guns. Or er, anti-tank grenades. Okay, let's not do that. Let's not risk it. Still got that minor defeat, good stuff. Let's actually try to push that thing with our Glorosk, whatever you call him. Oh my gosh, we got an anti-tank gun cluster right here. Okay. Alright, more than good tank to just start knocking those out. Everybody can get it. Everybody can catch the smoke. Yeah, I totally lied. I was like, yeah, we're only gonna... We're only gonna uh, do one battle. No, we're doing two giant battles. Oh, they are behind their own lines getting knocked out there. Okay, we got that flag there. Can we get one more flag? We're moving on that flag. 
Can we get this one? I don't know, but let's try for it. Okay, we have that flag. Let's go for this flag here and try to grab it. Um, that would be legendary if we could get it. Oh, there's a lot of defenses here. We're going to need to definitely get air attacks on those guys. I don't know if we can do this, boys. Doesn't help that the time to kill is like ridiculously slow. Like they kind of like putter, they kind of like putter away when they're shooting. You know, it's like not a very fast process. Yeah. Oh, we got a major defeat. That's awesome. Let's go. That is nice. We got them to a major defeat. No tanks, just aircraft. With them attacking us. Okay. 65 to 264. See, that's the kind of kill ratio that like I'm looking for. Uh. I didn't like that we lost vehicles, um, but it was kind of inevitable because we had to use to pin down some sectors of the front. And I know that our Stukas did absolute work on the enemy. So let's go ahead and check that really quick. All right. Uh, oh, yeah. All of their aircraft in that unit are probably gone. Oh, we can click on it. Oh, yeah, it's destroyed. We totally wiped out. That's our first regiment wiped out. If the bug is still there, like it is usually, then this won't register as a destroyed group. But I just clicked on it. You can see they got nothing left. So we totally succeeded there. So good that we knocked out all those Kalarossians. 55 Kalarossi Moto. <laughs> Bruh. All right. That is nice. They definitely regretted their decision there. Oh, and they're disorganized. So next turn, we can just sweep these guys up. Easy peasy. <gasps> no way. They got aircraft there. We're going to establish our A in that next turn. Smart. This is where they. This is like objectively correct. Like they should definitely put their air superiority units here. All right. Next turn, when we attack, they are gonna fall apart because they do not have any AT. I mean, they don't have much AT left. Uh, oh, but they're already countering. They're already countering this thrust here. They do not. They do not want to get cut off at all. So let's see what happens. But okay, it's our turn, so we're gonna end the video. Next video, as you can see, their front line is kind of collapsing here. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and just say fuck it. Let's link up. Okay, we should be doing this next video, but it's too tempting. Okay, we got a full-on breakthrough here. We got three disorganized battalions that are gonna get cut apart. And I don't know if there's any enemy units here, but we're gonna push with all these troops just fucking straight down. That's the move. Straight down. We can peel some off here. To start cutting up this way and then peel them this way and this way. And the other guys can just go this way. But I think we just collapsed one of their flanks. Again, if they have a reinforcement flag like here, then we're in trouble. But if they don't and it's here, then we are just going to rip right through there and knock them out. Next turn, we are also ready to attack these sectors here. Our tanks are all the way up in the A phase position. And they are uh, heavily, uh, mostly, didn't take a lot of infantry losses, but are very down on their AT capability. And then here, the Moto Mechanized Corps, the HQ unit, um, Gendarmerie, Colorossi, these look very, um, these look very capable. Um, this is not such a sure fire attack, but you know what? We've got a bet here and a bet here, so one of these two will break it, and I'm sure that these guys will get through. We're also ready for an attack here next turn. We have limited forces, but with good air support, I think we could have a strong effect on the enemy. Alright guys, that is all for today. I really hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I'm just so excited to be back on the Army General mode. Uh, we are already succeeding. You know, the first battle was dispiriting, uh, frankly, because we weren't able to leverage that superior tank firepower into a win. But we uh, did well on our attack here, and uh, when they counterattacked, they totally screwed themselves. So we are in a good position, and can we attack this? Is that... Yeah, I was like, no way we can attack these guys. So... Uh, yeah, situation looks pretty good. Um, I will see you guys next time. I hope that you have enjoyed, and it's been an absolute pleasure. This is your host, Star Destroyer Gaming, uh, signing off.